This is segment two for psychopharmacology 6700. I'm going to talk about neurobiology. It sounds intimidating, but really there are just a few basic important concepts that you should know about. Now, you've probably had uh, physiological psychology courses in the past, so this is a bit of uh, a review. One thing you need to know is what is a neuron, what does it look like, what are the parts of a neuron. So if you look at the picture here, you can see that a neuron consists of dendrites, cell body, a myelin sheath, the axon, and the terminal bouton. Now the dendrites are like the receiver. The dendrites get impulses from the last neuron in the, in the, in the chain. Uh, the impulses are then sent down the axon, and the axon is coated with what's called the myelin sheath. That's uh, similar to insulation. If you think about uh, an old car, sometimes you start having problems with the electrical system because the uh, insulation wears out. Uh, well, there are some neurological disorders that are very similar. When you get demyelinization, uh, that causes a lot of neurological problems when the insulation on the axon wears out. Uh, and then the impulse is transmitted down to the terminal bouton, which is the transmitter. Uh, it's the bouton that sends neurochemicals to the next neuron. Uh, when I say impulses, this is really all done through neurochemicals or neurotransmitters. And what you see here is uh, a picture of a synapse. Now, this is how one neuron transmits to another neuron. So um, at one end, you see the terminal bouton. You see the synaptic vesicles. Uh, those are little pockets that contain neurotransmitter. Uh, when it's triggered, uh, little portals open. The neurotransmitter is dumped out, and it signals the dendrite on the next neuron. So that's the way a nerve cell transmits one to the other. Now, neurotransmitters are sometimes called first messengers uh, because that's the most basic way that a neuron, one neuron transmits to another. Uh, chemicals like serotonin or norepinephrine uh, signal from one neuron to another. Now the receptors are specific for certain neurotransmitters. So you can have a dopamine receptor or a norepinephrine receptor. And another characteristic of these receptors is that they can either be inhibitory or excitatory. So that means some of these receptors will turn on when they get a certain chemical some of the receptors will turn off. So you can see it's like a computer system. It's a complex system with a lot of switches that turn on or turn off and respond to certain neurotransmitters and not other neurotransmitters. Now, another process that occurs is the second messenger system. This is a little more complex. This is actually a way that um, uh, cells change and regulate themselves. So the first messenger, they're just transmitting one to the other, but the second messenger system actually affects genes and gene expression and can actually affect the structure of the cell because the neurons are constantly changing. Um, this is something that we have only become aware of um, in the past few decades and it explains a lot of phenomena. Uh, early trauma doesn't just affect people psychologically, it can actually change the morphology of a cell. So someone who is constantly exposed to trauma actually has different biology. It actually can change uh, their neurons. So that's basically what you need to know about neurobiology.